Family, friends, and fellow athletes are remembering a star high school football player who was shot and killed inside his own home. Police say a 15-year-old boy pulled the trigger. Local 10's Ian Margle is live with what led up to the deadly gunfire. Ian. This family is absolutely devastated. Every single person we've talked to about Makai Stevenson has he described him as bright and said he had an even brighter future ahead of him. I'm just at a loss for words. I'm speechless. I'm numb. I'm devastated. A mother broken after her son, 17 year old Makai Stevenson, was shot and killed inside of their home on Tuesday afternoon. I never get to see him graduate from high school, walk down the aisle, have kids, nothing, nothing. Police say Stevenson was in his bedroom with four other teenage boys. That's when one of the boys, 15 year old Daryl Hobley, apparently pulled out a gun and began to wave it around recklessly. Stevenson's younger brother reportedly told Hobley that the gun was loaded and to put it away, but instead the subject pointed it at Stevenson and fired, shooting him in the chest once. Unfortunately, soon after, the North Miami senior high quarterback would die from the injury, and Hobley was arrested for manslaughter and possession of a firearm by a minor. Guns are not toys. They're not toys. At the end of the day, it's still sad that two young lives are lost. Um, Makai, of course, won't come back. And then the other kid, you know, I don't know what the future holds for him. But, you know, two families are devastated, and it's just a sem senseless crime that did not have to happen. So Makai's family is going to be holding a vigil for him here in the neighborhood on Friday at 6.30. Today, detectives were back in the neighborhood handing out flyers like this one, and they're asking anyone with information about this case to call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. Live in North Miami, I'm Ian Margle, Local 10 News. Okay, yeah, thanks a lot. And right